Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you how you can step by step create your own form in monday.com. I'm going to talk to you about the rules, how the form works, what you can achieve with it and how effective it really is. Now form is literally the same uh, as the columns. So in the moment when you're in your like let's say main table here and you see the analysis creation review here, these things you will be able to see also uh, in your form. Form is really great way, let's say, if you have CRM or if you're working with people and you need them like the tasks here or projects, they can easily fill out. So I'm going to show you how you can do it. The first thing you want to do is just click here, add a view. Now here you would find form or what you can do is just click here, more views, right here, form, and then open in a board. Now you just wait and here we are. If you're first time creating a form, you would find find form uh, like you just need to start here. Or you're gonna if you already created a form before, you would find it like I have here. So as you can see, we can see that as I mentioned, analysis creation review, like all the things um, that we had in customer project main table as a columns, we can see here. So let's click here, edit a form. And here we are. So uh, let's say we have the customer project here and I can simply upload the logo. Let's say this. Now, uh, then I can add a form description and I can add a name of the project. What is the like also the, uh, the forward, the name. So this is what they will write here. And what you can do is to have it as a required. So that's something also interesting, or you can like hide the question. So if something uh, that you don't want to have answered that column, but you still have it here, uh, you can have uh, like hide it, right? So when we go even further and uh, you can see the timeline here, the analysis, uh, the one thing I want to show you and talk to you about is include condition. In include condition, I can click plus and now what will happen? if the answer is one of like working on it or stuck or done. So let's say someone is going to get stuck on an analysis. And if someone is going to fill it out, I'm going to even add a new question and I want them to like, let's say have a file, upload a file. So in a moment, and this is why it's so perfect to have a form with monday.com. So if someone is doing analysis and they are stuck in a customer project, then if answer is one of the stack, then what will happen? Uh, like, okay, upload a file or screenshot. Where are you stuck? And then they will upload a file. So this is how it works. Now you can add multiple conditions and you can have it as a required. Also, what you can do is to simply add a new question. Now, really important to say guys, so let's say I'm going to add a rating here. And in a moment, let's say I'm going back to main table. I can find the rating here. So this is important. In the moment when you're gonna add something to form, you will also add it to your columns on the main table. So I'm in form now again, I'm going to click here, edit a form. Now here uh, I can add a new question and you can add all the things that you see in a form, uh, not in a form, but in the main table as the columns that you can add, you can also add in a form. So that's pretty much how it works. So I can add an email. So let's say email and I would write a question here, write your email address here. Rating rate this form. And then you see all the columns uh, we can see also in our form, as I mentioned now. Uh, we can go on the top right and click preview. And when you're going to click preview, you see how it actually looks like. And looks, I'm going to for analysis and I'm going to have stuck. In a moment when I clicked stuck, automatically I can upload the file or screenshot. Where are you stuck? Add the files. See, this is how simple it actually is. And then I would like submit it. Now, let's say that uh, you know how this works. You can go also to publish, but right before that, let's go to customize. Here you can, on the right side, you can make this form anonymous, anonymous, 
also you can present form as a survey. Your form will have a progress bar and automatically move to the next question. Hide branding. So hide work from branding from the work itself. After submission, what will happen? This is the submission of how it actually looks like. Also on the customize, you can see that you can have a desktop preview on mobile preview. And here you have additional submissions. So what does it mean? Is that an add an invitation to fill out the form again. So I can have like yes here and I can have submit another or I can redirect them to somewhere. I can have custom title. Thanks. See, and then custom content. You can also the hide success image, but I like it there. So I'm going to leave it there and then builder settings. With builder uh, settings, you're gonna have the show name question. See? Or show updated question. And then group for uh, answers, active projects or finished projects. And then you can also use form internally, add an option in main board to add new items using this form. So that's what you can do too also. Now, when you have it, uh, the next thing uh, is publish. So we have option to share it through with the link or you can share it with social and email, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, WhatsApp. You can also form restrictions here. So we can have recapture challenge, a restrict uh, form to account members only and you can redirect account members if they are not signed in. So you can have these things. Now, when you would have like the next thing are results, and this is where we are going to create something and I'm going to show you how it works. Then uh, the last thing are automate and I can like explore all automations and I'm going to show you what you can do here. So I can come here form and I can get when a form is submitted, create an update in this item. So I can go like this. Yeah, we need to also like add a type form and I would need to go here login. Yeah, I'm going to log in here and I'm going to show you what you can do. Okay, wait a second. I'm trying to like get there now. Okay, here I got it. Okay, so here I got it. Uh, this is the time form and I can have a uh, form, edit form. So let's say I got automate. Form three apps and templates. We can have like create here, connect. And now when a form like a research is submitted, you're going to create an item and let's say a name or Let's say this is going to be item update. Done. And add to board. And this is uh, like the template that we're going to have. And this is how we can also uh, manage the form here. So like this and that's how we do it, right? So you can have automations. Now when you got it, as I mentioned, I can simply publish it. I can copy the link here and let's say I'm going to fill it out now. So I'm going to incognito mode and I, I can go Marcus Tonelius. Okay. Start date is here End date is going to be in September answer stack. I can upload a file. I can also write an email address. gmail.com. I can read this form. I can creation like working on it, then review, let's say stock. And then I can add estimate hours. 
billable hourly rate is going to be 50 and submit. And let's see, look at this. Thanks, your form was submitted successfully. Okay, I can cancel it. Then I can go to main table. And voila, how I got it. See? This is how we can simply add a form and create forms. In uh, monday.com so thank you very much guys for watching i hope you are going to have a great day this is how you can create form in monday.com it's pretty easy and pretty simple have a great day and goodbye see ya